Good morning in the middle of the night. Yeah, 12.31. Wouldn't you know it? Went to bed early, but I woke up and I'm awake. So I thought I'm, I wanted to make some rope. And so the sheet that I tore apart this evening is what I'm going to make my rope out. I started making it already, but then I thought maybe I should show you how to make it. Just You guys probably already know how to make it because I'm usually the last one to the party. But I figured just in case, just in case. So I took these two strands of this um, ribbon. It's sheet ribbon. Actually, you know, there is, um, after doing some more research, and, and one, of my, one of my subscribers left me a link to um, Sorry Ribbon. And they actually do make saris out of polyester fabric. Po not all saris. Some saris are made out of polyester. That's what this is. These two sheets that I had was polyester. So polyester. Some of the sheet the the saris that are made are made out of polyester. So I stripped them. I mean, I made these two sheets into strips. I just tore them into strips. This was the bottom sheet. This was the top sheet. And they're now a whole bunch of strips. Because you can't sleep on polyester. It's too slick. I don't like sleeping on slick stuff. It's like sleeping on mayonnaise. I don't want to do that. Okay. So anyhow, what I did was I tied the two strands together up the top. Up the top right here. Right there. I tied them together in a knot. In a knot. And then I just put them on my clipboard just to hold it for me. So my clipboard holds it for me. So then I have these two strands that are kind of long. Kind of pain in the butt. <clears throat> That's okay though. So then I twist it. But as I twist, I'll show you what I have to do while I'm twisting. I'm going to take this one on the right and I'm going to twist it to the right. I give it about three twists and then... Go to the left. Then take this one. Give it about three twists. And go to the left. Give it about three twists to the right. Go to the left. Give it about three twists to the right. Go to the left. Okay. And then you keep doing that way. Give it about three twists to the right. And flip it to the left. Can you see that what I'm doing? tried to put the camera in a way that you could see that. If I had transparent hands, I'd be in good shape. That's if like I was a ghost. But see, I'm twisting this. I'm twisting the piece that's on the right. And I'm twisting it to the right. And then I flip it to the left. Now, I take this piece that's on the the right, twist it to the right, and flip it to the left. And I keep doing that. I, you, if, if you just twist it to the left without first twisting it to the right, it's going to unwind. But this way, if you let go of it, it's not going to unwind. It's going to stay. It's going to stay right there. So twisting it to the, to the right first and then flipping it over is the trick to keep it going. Now you could probably twist, you know, without twisting, twist with flip without twisting. But if you did that, it's it's not gonna hold. It's not gonna stay together. It's you want it to stay together if you want rope. So see, I twist that to the right, flip it to the left, twist to the right, flip it to the right left. Twist the right to the right and flip it to the left. Let's see, I gotta move it up a little bit. And twist the right one to the right and then flip it to the left. Twist the right one to the right flip it to the left. And and you just keep going. Now see, if you're using 
I've got long pieces here. Each piece is about three yards long on mine. So that's because I'm using this sheet fabric. But if you were using shorter pieces, because you can use, now th this is going to turn out all the same everywhere it goes. I mean, did that make any sense to you? Mm -mm, I didn't think so. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I want to stop this one. And I got it in a muff down there because I got so much fabric because I have long pieces. Now, you can use this with whatever scraps you might have. So I'm going to put this just like this right here for you to look at for just a minute. And, um, whoops, I turned my chair, I turned my camera, I turned everything because I had to go get something. Oh, wait a minute. Here, now. My, my, my camera is in a precarious position. So just a second. See if I can do this without moving the camera. Yeah. I'll get something to switch so I can show you something else. I showed you that. I show you this. But of course I didn't have a plan to hit it. I'm over here getting another Ziploc bag. Just a minute. Hot me another Ziploc bag that's got some different things in it. Right over here in amongst all these other Ziploc bags. Got straps of fabric. Just a minute. Okay, I got scraps. I am the most on. Okay, I know what I'll do. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. I just get to these things right here. These ones. No, 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 no. Just a minute, I'm still here. Don't leave me. Well, if that just doesn't take the cake. Okay, well. So, since. I don't see that back. I'm going to use this right here. Oh no, this is this it? No, those are the squares. And I don't want the squares. I want the straights. One more quick look. And yeah. Alright, so I'm going to use this. Okay, just a second. Okay. I'm going to just take this. I mean, I gotta get my. Oh, okay. This is my. This is my sorry ribbon that I ordered. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take two smaller pieces. Take two smaller pieces like this. I'm gonna take this one, and I will take this one. All right, so I've got two smaller pieces, and, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so I'll move this off to the side and work on that after a while. But now I'm going to take, this is going to make a skinnier rope, because, you know what, I want one piece. I, I, I don't want these to be the same length. I want these to be of different lengths. So I'm going to take that piece off there and make that shorter. And I'm going to tie this in a knot this way. Put that in a knot. Okay. So now, and I'm going to show you this. I'm showing you this so I can show you how I'm going to change color. This way. Here, I'm going to take this green piece off because I'm going to add that one in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Hmm. Put this light right like that. Darn these hands. Let me see if I can move this camera and put it right here. So if I can figure out how to do this without having my hands right in the way. Okay, let me try that. 
Now, let me get this piece of paper out of here. I'll put that black piece of paper so you couldn't see all my mess on here. Okay, now, now I'm going to twist this one. Just twist, twisting the one to the right. I'm twisting it to the right. Twisting it this way. Clockwise. And then flip it to the left. Now I'm going to take this one and twist it to the right. And flip it to the left. Twist this one to the right. Flip it to the left. Now, if I wanted this rope to be thicker using this ribbon, I could use two strands on each side. Take four strands and have two on each side. I'm doing it just one, and this is going to make a, a narrow ribbon, a, f a finer ribbon, a uh, rope, finer rope. See, I'm twisting it to the right and flip it to the left. Twist the right one to the right and flip it to the left. Twist the right one to the right, flip it to the left, and continue. Twist the right one to the right. And I usually twist, 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 and flip. Twist. Twist, 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 flip. 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 And you see how my purple side is getting kind of short there. So I'm going to be adding another piece of ribbon. Now you can use anything, any strands of any strands of um, fabric that you have. You can use. Now you probably want to use when you're making your rope with two strands of fabric. You probably want to keep each strand kind of of the same weight same thickness you know you don't want to have one real skinny one and then real fat one but I you know you maybe you could do that okay see now my purple one is getting quite short so I'm gonna have to soon add to it Oh, that's it. It's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty. And, you know, I and there's different things you might pe use the piece of rope for. What I use it for is I, I stitch it onto my journals. And I just as a, as a, um, like embellishment, like one of them, I did it all the way around the edge. And anything, you can, you know, if you use a little heavier or a couple, you could make a handle for a pocketbook or, a, you know, just so many different things. Okay, now see, my my piece here is too too short to really go any further. So I'm going to add. Now there's different ways you can add. Now if you wanted to, you can just sew. You could just stitch it. I kind of cheat. Now, now see, what you're supposed to be able to do is just put this one inside of the last one. Put the new one inside of the old one on the right. The Whatever, you know, I usually do it when it is on the right, the short one. And then kind of just twist that around, twist the first one around the new one, and then twist, get your three twists in there, and, and then go. Uh, now you can, if you want to, you could sew it, or you could hot glue it. You could do different ways of getting it to stay. But I just twist them together. 
Okay. Let's see. And twist to the right and flip to the left. And, and until you got, until you're good onto this new piece, you want to kind of just be careful as you're twisting to be sure. There we go. Okay. There, see, I kind of had to kind of hold on to things. Now I got it going, so now I'm only on the new one. Twist, 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 and flip. Twist to the right and flip. Twist to the right and flip. Now, when you're doing it this way, and you're adding new pieces on as you go, then you get a really colorful rope. The one I'm making over here with my my um my sheet ribbon, my polyester ribbon is all going to be like the same color. It's not going to change. But see how this one changes now. And so you keep changing the color. And you can make some very colorful, very colorful ribbon. A rope you call out of the ribbon. You can make some very colorful ribbon. But the trick is to twist it. Twist it to the right and flip it to the left. Twist it to the right. Hold that, that twist and flip it. And then you're holding it with this thumb. See there? And it goes quite quickly. Let me get this back up here. My clip. I use a clipboard and it, you know, it helps. Now, some people don't have to use a clipboard. Some are more agile than I am, but I use a clipboard to hold. Now, this I learned on, this I learned on a YouTube video somewhere, and but that's before I started writing down who I learned what from. But I'm, I'm betting that there's more than one that, person. You know, for some reason, I think it was secret. For some reason, I think it was secret Soto that, that first did this to make this rope. I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. And, um, but if it wasn't her, then I don't know. But I think it was Secret Soda at the Creative Birdie. There we go. See, now I'm back to the... I'm, be, I'm, I'm out to the end of the yellow, so I'll take this little piece of purple. And you don't need to have... You don't need to have, like, long pieces. I mean, it, it, actually, it's easier to do it with short pieces because then your ends aren't getting all twisted. You have to stop it, untwist your ends. This is something I can't do for a real long time. Real long at one time because my hands cramp up because of my old age. But, um... And so I, I do a little bit, and then I have to stop and do something else. That's why I do so many different crafts. I do so many different crafts because, you know, well, for one thing, I don't like drying time. So if something has to dry, I have to be doing something else because I craft all the time. I got many things, like I've told you before, I've got many things always going on at the same time. And so... So I, um, just a minute, I'm reaching for another piece of this ribbon, and I'm reaching, oh, there's my scissors. Okay, so I'm just going to get me a piece of this now. 
you when I ordered this ribbon. When I ordered this ribbon, I was surprised when I got it that there are so many different kind of fabrics. I figured it all be like this. This is like a silky, um, satiny something. I figured it all be like that. But it's not all like that. Some of it, some of it is more of a cotton blend, it seems. And so, yeah, they make so, although this, actually all of these ones do feel quite satiny. But, um, all these ones that I have so far. So here we go, added another color. Now, if you really want a colorful one like this, it's, you know, you're constantly adding pieces to it. So maybe it'll take a little longer, but, but it, um, it'll take a little bit longer because you got to stop and, and add the next piece on. Isn't that pretty? This one's really pretty, though. This one here, it really shines. It's kind of a, hmm, I don't know what color that is. It's sort of like a turquoise and sort of like an aqua and sort of like a teal. It's pretty. So I'm happy with the ribbon that I ordered. But I'm happy with the ribbon that I made myself, too. Now, you see, when you add a piece, you're going to see, you're going to be able to tell where you added, you can actually snip like that little piece right there. I could snip that off like this if I wanted to. Then it's less noticeable. You could snip that off if you wanted to. And, um, but if you don't snip it off, it just adds to the, um, handmade look because when you want, when you make something handmade, you want it to look handmade. You don't want to look like it was made on an assembly line somewhere. So, but this is a fun thing to do. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it you just continue and continue making your rope. Yeah, my thumb's going to pot here. Let me see. Boy, when you get arthritis, the only place my arthritis really bothers me is in my thumbs, both in the same place. I bought, I bought a, um, I bought a, a brace to wear and it really helps the pain. It takes the pain away wonderfully, but it just gets in my way. Okay, now I'm going to take another piece. See, now when I'm doing this way now. See, I'm going to get me a piece that's um, here, I think. That one. There we go. That's good. Ooh, that one's pretty too, isn't it? So I'm going to put this one. I'm going to add that one. So I'll just open this piece up here because it's all, all when you when you get it, or from where I ordered it anyway, it comes all quite wound, wrinkled together, sort of wrinkled together. So then I take... When I have about an inch or an inch and a half here is when I want to switch, put my new, add, add my new color to it. Well, like I say, you could glue it if you want. You could sew it if you want. You put a little hand stitching on that if you want. You could do either way. Or you can just twist it, which is what I'm doing. I'm just twisting it in there. And... And, and the twisting it, you know, after you twist a couple times, then you you get the hang of it. You get the hang of it, and it just, I've twisted a lot of rope. I just think it's fun to do. There's so many things, then, that you can use, use this with. It's, um, I don't know. I don't know when you buy this stuff. Now, now this is want to twist. That's real silky, that piece. When you buy it, I already twisted like this. Because I know you can buy this stuff already twisted. But I don't know what it's called. When you buy it already twisted. It's like cord. Cording, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember much anymore. See? 
yeah, I'm going to have to stop this pretty soon, either that or chop my thumb off. But this is what I do when I can't sleep. <sighs> I did sleep, though. I went, but I was tired. I went to bed about 8 o'clock, 8.30 maybe. And I read a couple pages in a book. The book was boring, so I just turned off my Kindle and went to sleep. So I must eat three messages by day. And that's usually when I sleep, three to three and a half hours, and then I'm up. And see, look how pretty that's looking with the different colors. It goes from one to another. Put that back up there. And now see this. Using this sari ribbon is really pretty because there's... Um, Sure. Actually, when I ordered it, it come in a 60-yard hank, but it's all stitched together, you know, one end to the other. And I'm snipping it apart as I use it, because I don't want to use it all together. And the reason they do that is some people crochet with it you or knit with it and make really awesome-looking things. But I'm not going to crochet or knit with this. What I was thinking about doing, too, what would be pretty also is to, t if you were to take like a, like a gold thread, like a gold thread and have it with just one of the sides and add a little gold thread along with it. This one's got threads. See, look at them pretty threads that's on this one. And take them off and put them with my thread, thread stash. But see, this thread looks like the same thread that I'm getting off my polyester, off my polyester sheets. It looks like the same thread. So polyester must be like a fake sari. Well, they do make saris. I, you know, out of polyester. I did one. One of my um subscribers, Mr. Victor, he left me a link after he watched my video. He left me a link and I followed that link and it told about uh, about making saris and the fabrics that they use. And apparently the silk, if you get real genuine silk, because they have to gather that silk from cocoons in the wild. They gather it, and then they dye it, and then the um, sari fabrics are then woven by hand. The, the trims to the sari fabrics are beautiful. Oh, my gosh, they're beautiful. And um, those, when you buy those saris, they're extremely expensive. That fabric is quite costly. And so... And usually the ladies that wear the saris only wear them, only the silk ones are for a very special occasion, like a wedding or something very, very special. Like, you know, in here in our country, some have like a bar mitzvah. No, they don't have that. What do girls have bar mitzvahs or just boys? I don't know. I don't know that stuff. But, um, you know, a special very special occasion will they get a silk, a, a genuine silk sari, because it takes like six to eight yards to make a sari. That's a lot of fabric because it has to wrap around your body and over, over one shoulder, I think. And they are beautiful. I went, because last night I went online and I just was doing a lot of research on saris and Whoa, it was, it was just amazing. They're just beautiful. And um, the fabrics, the fabrics are to die for. They're just, so these, that when, when, you, when we order sari ribbon, and what they get are the scraps. What, what we're getting are scraps, like they pull off the floor in the factories where they're making them. But these, the scraps we are getting can be of different 
you know what? I'm going to put that link, it, it, just in case anybody's interested. I'm always interested in researching things. And I'm, on this little video, I'm going to go ahead and put the link to the, the, um, to the page that Mr. Victor gave me that, to look at. And um, I'll put that link down there so you can look at yourself if you're interested. Because I'm, I'm, I'm always interested in learning new things. And now that I'm 68 years old, I think, my Lord, I should have paid attention while I was in school. I had the chance to learn things. Because a lot of times I just didn't care about learning a lot because I figured I don't need to know history and that kind of thing just to have children and bake bread because I didn't really have any goals other than finding the man of my dreams and raising a family. So anyhow, look how pretty that part is. So right there in that amount of time, I twisted a piece that's a good over a yard long there, probably about a yard long. But you see how the colors, how the colors change by changing the, the pieces of fabric. Very pretty. And boy, even if you were to make a headband out of that, I'm so bohemian and just, but. See, now that'll unravel a little when I lay it down, but not much. Well, it doesn't want to unravel at all. But but I'm going to go ahead and post this and see, I can add that little piece to that. I'd probably put a lighter one now to go with this, but then pretty soon then I've got to add another. And so it'll keep changing the colors when you do when you do something like that. And And I have like all this beauty. I love it. I just wad that up and use it for a pillow. But, but anyhow, I keep everything. I'm a Ziploc bag person. Everything stays in Ziploc bags. So many of my things are just in Ziploc bags. So I, and then I've, I've got Ziploc bags just lined up with my things. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you that. That what I'm doing. I think I'm going to work a little bit on this rope. Right here tonight, still be until I get myself tired again. Now, see, because this is such long pieces, this whole once I'm done with this, this one, I won't add anything to it because this is going to make already, you know, the rope is going to be as long as the fabric. So I'll have a plenty long rope when I'm done with this one, and it'll go around a couple of. It'll go around at least one of my journals, maybe two. But you see, I blanket stitch this then onto um, onto the edge of a journal cover because my journal covers are fabric. So then on the edges, I like to just, isn't that pretty? I love these two colors right here. I think that's beautiful. That's going to make pretty, pretty, um, pretty, embellishments on my journal cover I get so thirsty and um yeah so anyway you know what oh, it's another day I can read some more wisdom cards um I'm gonna read one two three okay I am good enough I am not restricted by old li limita limiting. Okay, I really can read. I've been speaking English all my life. Okay, I am not restricted by old limiting beliefs from my family or from society. I am good enough. I am not restricted by old limiting beliefs from my family or from from society see i i get that one because i sometimes you're raised up to say oh you don't do this and you don't do that or you don't do this or you do do that and and then you learn you know from your parents you learn well you know it might not be bad but you know you if you know it's like gospel when you hear it from your parents but there's a lot of things you know try new things try new things try different things and um and that, that's what that is saying, I do believe. This year, 
I do the mental work for positive change. Positive. The mental work for positive change. My motto this year is, I go for the joy. Life is here for me to enjoy today. And let us do enjoy today. Okay. I am willing to see my magnificence. If I think that I am a bad person, I get a negative feeling. However, if I change the thought, the feeling disappears. This is really a good one. I do hear a lot. I do hear a lot of people that think the opposite. They don't, like this says, I am willing to see my magnificence. If I think that I am bad, think that I am a bad person, I get a negative feeling. And you will. You, If you think you are bad, if you say, oh, I can't do that, I'm just too stupid, you're, you're going to get a negative feeling. It makes you feel like you really can't do anything. However, if I change that thought, oh, yes, I can do that. The feeling disappears. You lose that negative feeling, and you don't want to lose that. You want to keep that feeling that I can do this. I can do this, and um, I want to be happy. I just, it's, it's amazing how positive affirmations, positive affirmations can change your very moment. Positive. Just get the positive. So that's it. I won't I won't bother you with any more of that preaching today. But tomorrow, that's a new day. I'm gonna put that. I got this other book too. This is Power Thoughts. Um, and by the same author, Louise Hay. Louise Hay is who I've had a couple of people ask me, where do I get these cards? This particular box of cards I got at the thrift shop for 20 cents. But you can order these. Um, somebody told me you can order them. In a, and well, Louise Hay does have a, a, a website. She's got a website and she's even got a Facebook page. But you can... Um, Louise Hay, though, she just passed away this past August. And, um, but she's an amazing lady. And she's, and, but you can still get her things, of course. But you can go, you can order these even from um, Amazon, the cards, if you want the wisdom cards. My husband ordered this for me from Amazon. That's where he got this. But this one here. Look at this. I just popped it open and it says, I now choose to recognize the magnificence of my being. And I just opened the very, and that's the very one that I just read. But these have got a lot. These are um, power thoughts, 365 daily affirmations. So this is a good little book too. So these are, these are good. So if I, if I wear you guys out with these, I'm going to start on these. So, um, I read you three pages a day. And so anyhow, I like them. They're good for me. I have learned for them. I have learned, I have absorbed so much. Now, I maybe I, I have more to absorb, but I have absorbed so much. And I hope you absorbed how to make this here rope. I don't know what you'll use it for, but you can use it for so many different things. And look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. See how pretty that is? Just all the different colors. I stick my hand in there and it wants to adjust its thing. Okay, that's it. I want to say thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for watching my videos. I am just so, I am, my heart just is, uh, it just melts to read my comments, to um, see how many people have subscribed in such a short time, even though I think my first video was, Oh my gosh, I don't know, a few years ago, I did, I'd make a video and then I wouldn't make another video for, for, um, months and months. And then I make another, then once I started making them regular, it seems like my subscriber list just, it just blows me away how many people have subscribed. It makes me feel so good. And it empowers me, I guess. And I, and I don't feel like I'm just, 
a nobody because I did go through that spell in my life. And so I encourage you all, if you all, I've heard a lot of people, oh, I cannot make a video. I, my stuff isn't good enough to show. This is just a rope. And, um, but you know, got to get over that. We have to get over that and make yourself a video. Just, you know, just play with one. This is, this program I'm using right now is just a, a program that's on my, on my computer. It's just in Windows 10. There's a camera thing. I, I was using the, the program that come with my camera because I bought an external, this is an external, um, webcam. And I was just using the program that come with that. But with that one, I couldn't pause it. With this new one I'm using, the one that comes right on the computer, I can pause this one if I want to. So if I got to go use the bathroom, I can pause it. And um, and so, but it's simple. Just play with one. Make yourself a video and then watch it. It, you know, or just post it. It's very simple, you know. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And to um, even get, even to get um, signed up on YouTube, it is very simple because it's like it just step by step. You just, it tells you what to do. So it's simple. It's all simple. And so, but yeah, do it, you know, make things, put your videos up there. And it's amazing how good it makes you feel. And feeling good is wonderful. So anybody who's been watching my doll, I had forgotten to give her earrings where is she there now she's got earrings let me see here let me see if i can see this was my bohemian doll if you watched my videos you probably saw her and um i think it took about five videos to get it done but since my last video i added her earrings which is just this gold thread that's what i just used somebody one of the um subscribers suggested I just make her earrings hoop earrings out of the gold thread and so that's what I did and then I also here I added some chain onto her little piece of tassa that she's holding which is silk this is made out of silk threads this little piece of rope here it's twisted silk threads and so that really is silk and then most of these most of these strands that are in her garment are also scrap fabrics from from making saris plus i have some different things in there too i've got some fringes and some rickrack here and, and different things but I think she's just beautiful. I think she's just beautiful. I, I, she is a grandmother. You can tell she's got this grandmotherly shawl. And um, she's just, you know, she's got that hair, that grandmotherly hair, too. You know, she's kind of graying, a little bit of gray there. And so out of her natural blue. But, okay, I won't bore you with that anymore. Okay, we'll put her over there again. And this is what we were doing with the rope. This rope there. Okay. Now, mess. Yeah. All right. That's it then. I love you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Come by again and see. I might make another video tomorrow, and I don't even know what it'll be on. But I'll. I'm. I am working on this doll. But you know what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for my air dry clay to come because I'm gonna do her face with the air dry clay. And, and then I had a suggestion because I was kind of, um, wasn't sure what I was going to do. And I did show this, I did show this one day and somebody suggested that I, um, make her into an elderly person. And so you don't want to make her into me, but she's going to have a cane. So the cane is she, she will stand up like that even, but her cane, then I'll have that coming out like this. So it'll actually give her another leg to stand on because she is a little wobbly. So she needs a cane. And here, I don't know what I'll have her holding up here. Maybe a, I don't know, <laughs> a pinwheel. <gasps> a pinwheel. <gasps> yes. 
I have some little pinwheels that was just sent to me in Happy Meal. Okay, she's going to have a very glitzy cane right here. And she see she's a little bit hunchbacked. You know, she gets hunchbacked. I'm a little hunchbacked myself uh, from age, you know. And so she's going to be my granny. She's going to be my granny. I like grannies, though. All right. You see this? I can't never shut up. Put these threads in her legs. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez, I gotta get out of here. Okay, good night, you all, and thank you so much for stopping by, and I love you. Bye-bye.